Some people might have preconceived notions about this area and I suppose maybe that's what's even better is about the young people that we have out there who are training week in, week out, are really maybe breaking down some of those stigmas. And we've got kids from all walks of life, from all different diverse backgrounds and uh, it's great to see here on a Saturday morning that you'll hear different dialects and everyone coming together and playing, playing ball in the morning time. It's, uh, it's exciting times. We always say before as well, do, do we need to be really, uh, do we need to like, be really skilled to play defense? No, what you have to have? A bit of what? A bit of, a bit of, a bit of heart, a bit of fight in it, okay? So can we do that? So my name is Shane Mohan and I work with Basketball Ireland as a Community Development Officer and I'm based in Trinity College and Dublin's North East Inner City. Yeah, so I first kind of learned about this project when I actually heard Michael Dara speaking on Off The Ball and um, he was doing great work to promote the Inner City. Yeah, there has been a lack of clubs and I suppose like, we had kids with a lot of potential here. They didn't want to just play one hour a week, they wanted to play with a club, they wanted to play games and I wasn't able to refer them anywhere. So it was only then it dawned on me, I was like, why don't we have uh, our own club in the city centre? Hey, 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 it's 20, 20. Count out each fast we make. You are one team. I suppose when I first came on board, they had done loads of great work in this area. Um, Michael Darren, Scott Kinnevin, um, and Kai Wen, Juvon. A lot of really good work been going on. My job, I see my job, was to transition this from this pipe dream into an actionable plan that we could actually get people working on. I wish I had this team when I was growing up, and that was a dream. To have a team set up, and then it feels like you belong somewhere. So some of the obstacles that we had when setting up the club was that sometimes it sounds very easy to just call it a club and, and, and get going. The volunteerism is a huge issue uh, and trying to get like the pieces of the puzzle together because it doesn't just work off one person or two people. It helps with so many parents getting involved, local people, local leaders, uh, people involved in the local business community and these, these, all these people have to come together with a goodwill to form a club and to grow a club. And as we do that we're going to have to grow our volunteer base as well which is going to be a huge ask. Oh, the impact is massive. I just have a, a memory of our first game with the, with the boys team and so we have to organise a bus for them to get to our away games and I just remember they were sitting in this bus and they were saying like, this feels like we're going to an NBA game, it feels like we're NBA superstars. And for me, I suppose when the project was very much, I mean schools were all around the inner city, to have that moment with our first team off to their first game and for them to feel like superstars was just a real kind of sense of, okay, we've landed it here. The girls team are flying it, we were actually in the National Basketball Arena a couple of weeks ago watching the Irish for Netherlands game uh, for the European qualifiers and it was fantastic. Our girls actually played at half time and they were amazing and it was actually the first game that a lot of them had ever seen um, which was actually a unique, a unique experience for me to be able to see and just for even to watch the girls warming up they were just jaws on the floor kind of thing and nudging each other, oh just see that and I suppose just have that role model to see that girls that play this sport, they play at a high level, they take it seriously and that they can as well. Really the goal here is to put the North East Inner City on the map and specifically to put the North East Inner City Trojans basketball club on the map and I suppose to highlight the opportunities that are here for kids. I suppose the impact and the power of sport, it's massive and uh, it's there for all to see and I think as we grow and we expand our reach and we get more facilities and we just grow the internal structure of the club. It's just more and more opportunities are going to follow for the kids in this area. <laughs>